It's Halloween, I'm gonna get even with you Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming one of my favourite videos of the year, an autumn home decor haul. I think you guys already know if you're already a subscriber that I love autumn and I know a lot of you guys do as well. So I'm really excited to show you what I picked up this year. I try not to go too crazy because as you guys know or if you're new here, I usually only decorate the fireplace behind me for autumn, although I have snuck in a little bit of bedroom decor this year. And I'm probably going to decorate the first week of September because then I can enjoy autumn for about two months before we move into Christmas, which feels very weird to say when we're still in August, but actually we are really close to September now. And yeah, I feel like autumn is slowly creeping in and I am very excited to see it. So yeah, if you're a fellow autumn fan, don't forget to please hit the like button and subscribe. Sit back, relax, get cozy and comfy. And yeah, let me show you all the lovely autumn pieces that I picked up this year. So I feel like the shops are slowly getting the memo about autumn decor here in the UK. As we all know, autumn decor in America is just so much bigger and better than it is here. But I do feel like every year we're getting more and more pieces, which I'm very pleased to see. So if you are looking for some autumn decor, the shops that I would recommend you having a look in are TK Maxx and HomeSense, which are the biggest kind of autumn decor places. Um, also next have a really big range this year. And I've heard there are quite a few pieces in Asda and also the range. And I went into anthropology the other day and they have some really lovely kind of tableware, dinnerware, mugs. It is on the pricier end of the scale. And they also had a really gorgeous pumpkin and vanilla candle that I was very tempted by. But as I said, it is very pricey. But yeah, it, they have some beautiful things. So yeah, check out anthropology. And of course, Amazon always have some bits as well. So that's where most of my... Um, decor is from I think so yeah let's jump straight in and I think let's start with the kind of the the actual essential autumn pieces let's start with the new pumpkins that I picked up this year <laughs> I think this is possibly my favorite thing that I picked up this year um so far anyway you never know I might add to my autumn collection but this I picked up in home sense so if you haven't watched it already I will link it um I filmed a video on my first ever trip to home sense and they had all their autumn and halloween decor out and honestly <laughs> I was so happy I was living my best autumn life and I'm definitely going to go back to home sense because I just thought it was really really good and I saw this as soon as I walked in I think I show it in the video and I was just like that I need that I need that in my life. I cannot walk away from this lovely um, piece of decor. So it's basically a stack of three fabric pumpkins. It's got some beans in the bottom. So it stands really nicely. And yeah, they range from dark red, orange to cream. And then on top, they've got um, some um, little trim there to make it look like a real pumpkin. How cute is this? I absolutely love it. It was $7.99, which I think is really good because it is pretty big. And I think it's just gonna look lovely with the rest of my autumn fireplace because everything is kind of in these tones of red, orange and cream. And yeah, I just thought it was really sweet. So yeah, I hope it's still there if you guys like it and can pick up one for yourself. I feel like I have seen on a YouTube video that there's another stack that's slightly different colors. So worth having a look, but I just thought this was, the kind of perfect autumn colours. So yeah, very excited by that stack. And then the second pumpkin I picked up for the, for the fireplace is this one. I mean, guys, it's glittery. It's a glittery pumpkin. I mean, I just couldn't walk away from this. It was $9.99 and yeah, I just think it's so lovely. It's so sparkly. Even the little stem is sparkly as well. I just think that's just going to look so good on the fireplace. And yeah, I just thought it was so different. I've never seen an ornamental pumpkin like this. And again, this one was no. Nope. It wasn't from HomeSense. I'm lying. This one was actually from TK Maxx. So yeah. Um, get down to your Lyris TK Maxx if you fancy this one. But yeah, how gorgeous. The glitter comes off a little bit, but let's face it, glitter always comes off. And yeah, I am very excited by this one, as you can probably tell. <laughs> 
Now, as we know, I collect mugs. So obviously I had to pick up a new autumn mug. In fact, last year was the first year that I've ever found an autumn mug and that was from Next. But as I say, a few more shops are getting in on the autumn spirit. So I've seen a few more this year. Next, have some if you're looking and also, Anthropology have some really, really gorgeous ones. Let me know if you spotted any other autumn mugs elsewhere because you never know, I could add another one to the collection. Always send me, you know, anything you spot guys that you think I would like because that would be super helpful and damaging to my bank account, but never mind. So I picked up this mug and it is it's the autumn mug of dreams. As I said, it's from Anthropology. They also do it in a different color. They also do a plain one. They do lots of autumn mugs. So if you're looking, check out Anthropology. But as I said, their stuff is always pricier than the other stores. So this is 14 pounds, which is, you know, it's quite a lot for a mug, but I just, I couldn't resist it. It's just so gorgeous. They call it the floral pumpkin mug. And it does what it says on the tin. It's pumpkin shaped and it's got pretty autumn flowers on it. How gorgeous is that? And the orange handle as well it's just it's just so pretty it's just it's autumn perfection guys in a mug and I'm just I'm very very happy with it and I can't wait to use it on autumn mornings and yeah it's gonna be so good so now I've got two autumn mugs in my collection but as I said there's always room for more so let me know if you spot any but yeah very 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 happy with that one and then the second mug I bought is actually for Halloween. So again, I feel like I have a lot of Christmas mugs, but less for the other seasons. I think I have one shaped like a cauldron, I think. But I saw this one and I just, I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> Basic Witch. This one is from TK Maxx and it was $4.99. The inside is black. It's almost that kind of like camping shaped mug, but it is ceramic, not that kind of tin, um, that you get and it says the same on the back and the front it's just kind of speckled and yeah basic which i just thought was just funny and yeah so as halloween approaches we can use this mug and yeah i'm very excited about it and then the only other thing that i brought for halloween <laughs> was this it's a spoon rest so if you know or you don't know my kitchen is black and white and I saw this and I was like I mean I have to get it it's just like a skull spoon rest black and white put my tea bags in it I mean it's just ridiculous but I just I had to get it um it was 3 dollars from TK Maxx they actually had all different kinds of Halloween um spoon rests so if you would like to add one to your kitchen get down to TK Maxx and yeah I just think they look cute together so yeah got a little touch of Halloween mingled in which is always fun okay so we've done pumpkins we've done mugs what are we left with candles obviously. Now I try not to go too crazy on the autumn candle front because I did buy a lot last year and I've got some big ones that I just use for decor and I've got ones that I used to light in autumn evenings and I've still got some of them left so I really really stopped myself going crazy but I saw this one and I thought it would match the fireplace really well and yeah I just couldn't not get one. It's a spice pumpkin one, it's a lovely kind of ambery brown and then I really love the lid it says the great pumpkin farm on it and it's got like a tractor with pumpkins in it how cute is that and this one was from home sense and it was 6.99 scent test oh. that is the perfect autumnal candle spice pumpkin a bit of sweetness a bit of spice oh, I feel cozy just smelling it I wish you guys could smell it but Get down to Home Sense, or they might also have it in TK Maxx. Anything that says spice pumpkin on it, nab it because that is that is good. I think I've shown you this before, but I picked up this candle in Home Bargains. It was two ninety nine, and I really rate Home Bargains candles for value for money. This is hot cross buns, so obviously it was made for Easter, but the colour and the scent to me is just autumn, so I've kept it for autumn. Yeah, to me that is just, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's just perfect for autumn. And I can always just keep it this way so you can't see the hot cross bun sign on it. But yeah, I just basically 
I like their ones to just kind of burn of an evening because I do find when I buy like a fancy decor candle, I don't really want to burn it because I want to keep it. Whereas these I'm happy to burn and I think it's going to give a really nice cozy autumn scent when I do burn it. And then final candle guys, um, I bought a, my lamp in my bedroom just broke. So I bought a new one from Next. Actually, I'll pop a picture here. It's not autumnal, so I didn't bother bringing it down, but I'll pop a picture anyway. It's pink and rose gold. And I saw this candle in Next and I thought it would match perfectly on my bedside table with the lamp. So it's just a really lovely rose gold candle. It's I thought it kind of gave me Art Deco vibes. I thought it was really pretty. And the scent is rose and orange blossom. So there is a slight autumnal kind of scent to it. It's just, it's really pretty. And I just, although it's not strictly autumn, I thought I'd just show you because it's a new candle and I, I think we could get away with saying it has autumn vibes. <laughs> I just, let's just call everything autumn vibes because autumn is the best. <laughs> so as I said, for the past couple of years, I've restricted my autumn decor to the fireplace because otherwise I just feel like it can snowball and get out of control. But I saw this and I just couldn't resist picking it up for my bedroom. So as you guys know, or if you're new here, you don't know, um, my bedroom is mostly different shades of pink. And I saw this pink pumpkin candle and I just thought, well, you know, a little touch of autumn in my bedroom, you know, I just can't resist it. It could go on my bedside table. And yeah, I'll just bring a little touch of my favorite season into my bedroom as well. I mean, I am keeping my eyes peeled if I ever see any more pink pumpkins, but this was the only one that I saw. Um, I think I got this in TK Maxx, but I did also see them in HomeSense as well. And it was $8.99 it's part of the Martha Stewart collection. So they have quite a few of her candles in TK Maxx at the moment in all different colors. I think there was gray and a sort of duck egg blue um, one as well. But obviously I got the pink to match and it's just a really nice kind of pearly pink with a gold stem. And then if I lift the lid, it's a two wick candle. I don't know what the scent's supposed to be actually. Oh, white pumpkin. So yeah, it's just got a slight um, sweet pumpkin scent to it. I wouldn't say it's the strongest candle, but as you know, I bought it just for the kind of decor purposes, but I guess I could light it. And then you can also, you could always refill it with a candle every year. That might be cute. So yeah, I'm really excited that I've got a little touch of autumn in my bedroom now. Let me know guys, actually, if you decorate for autumn, where you decorate, do you just keep it to one space or do you try and put touches of autumn throughout the house? Let me know in the comments. So last year I found some autumn fairy lights to use on my garland and then I also wanted to have something lit up down here as well so I kind of made my own version for my lantern but they weren't as good as the lights I bought from Amazon. So I bought a second set this year to use in my lantern and I think these are really great. They're only $6.99 and they've just got leaves covering each of the lights and they're just a really nice autumnal red, ready kind of orange color. And the light is a really pretty warm light, which I like. So now the bottom can match the top. And yeah, as I said, they're only $6.99. I think they're really good value. You can have them flashing or on fully or off. So yeah, if you're looking for some autumnal fairy lights, can definitely recommend those ones. And then um, I changed this flower display for autumn flowers. And again, I have got quite a lot. So I didn't want to go crazy because obviously there's a lack of how many you could fit in there. I don't want to go too, too over the top. But I saw this flower in um, Not Cuts Garden Centre and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And I, I just had to have it to add to my display. I'm not sure what flower it's meant to be. Let me know if you know. It was $4.99 and yeah, it's just a really gorgeous orange like how perfect autumn shade is that and yeah I think it's just going to go really nicely with my other flowers so yeah garden centers are always a great shout if you're looking to create an autumn flower display um not cuts and squires near me they all have some really pretty flowers and I actually saw some in Tesco as well so it's always worth having a look and I think that can really just add a nice simple touch of autumn to your home and then finally, I really wanted to get a new cozy um, throw for autumn. I couldn't find one that I really liked that had autumn decor on it. And I thought if I get a plain one, then, you know, I can use it kind of 
not just restricted to autumn but i might keep my eye out for an autumnal one i picked up this one from tk maxx and it is absolutely lovely it's so soft and thick and cozy it's in a lovely kind of neutral creamy natural shades and i think it was 19.99 but yeah it's so thick and cozy and lovely and it's just going to be perfect for autumn evenings so yeah as you can tell, I'm very ready for cozy weather, but you know, let's not wish the summer away just yet. I wanted to show you everything I've got now in case you guys wanna pick up anything before the autumn decor disappears because they had it in very early this year. So I feel like they're gonna swap to the dreaded Christmas word. Um, in fact, my local next had a tiny Christmas display when I went in the other day. Um, so yeah, I think if you want to get any autumn or Halloween decor, be quick about it because I think they're gonna switch over quite early this year, but yeah. How snugly am I going to be in this, guys? <laughs> so there we go. That was my autumn home decor haul for this year. I hope you liked seeing what I picked up. Let me know in the comments what you guys have brought this year. And also let me know if you have any recommendations for me because we can always add, we can always add a little bit more if I see something really special. But I'm excited to decorate for autumn. Like I said, I'll film that for you guys and it'll probably be early September. So look out for that. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Take care, look after yourselves and yeah, see you soon. Bye guys. This Halloween, I'm gonna get even with you. I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna go find my boo.